Hey, fifth grade, ready for your art lesson with your friendly neighborhood art teacher? For the last few weeks, we've been talking about emotions in art, and we've been studying an artist named Romero Brito. Romero Brito is a Brazilian-American artist who does large paintings, sometimes murals, and his art focuses a lot on patterns, colors, and a sense of happiness and hope to his pictures. He does this in ways that we've talked about by using bright colors, people who are smiling, and positive symbols in his pictures. We have practiced the patterns. You have practiced drawing his people or people in his inspirational style or inspired by his style. And this week we are going to be putting it all together in a practice. This is not your final project. This is like your draft. So don't worry about it. Please don't get upset if it doesn't look immediately the way that you want it to. It's okay. But I also want you to take your time with it. Please do not do the whole thing in one week. I want you to take your time with it. So... First, you're going to start by drawing a person. Uh, since this is just a practice, stick with one person. Don't add too many people with it. You can draw one of the people that you drew last week or the week before. Just make them really big. And when I say big, I mean you can see from my example that mine here fills up the whole page. Well, most of the page. Please do not draw tiny people. Draw a big person. You can have a person who is just standing there. You do not have to be doing something like I have mine doing something. That's okay. Then you're going to work on adding a background. All I did for this was add a line in the horizon behind her. We talked about this in third and fourth grade. And then I added some extra lines like the sunrise is coming up behind her. And I added two extra hearts. Again, I don't want you to be super complicated with these things because the patterns are going to be the harder part. The last step that you do for this today is you add her or you add patterns to it. So you can see my two examples here, one where I just added the patterns to the person and then the second one where I added the rest of my patterns and I made my lines thicker. So that's what I want you to do for today. You're practicing it. Do not color. I did not say start coloring. I know this seems like it's a short lesson, but trust me, drawing a person that big, coming up with all of the patterns, coming up with any kind of details that you want to add to those patterns, that will take some time. So please just focus on drawing your person, a background, and all of the patterns that will go onto your person. Then you're going to take a picture and you're going to put it in your Google assignment like we've been doing. Thanks, guys.